Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm going to be doing your daily for June 28th, 2022. I'm using the Divine Abundance Oracle Cards. Okay, let's see what comes out here for Aries. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Aries. We have sacrifice. Sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions. It's a sacrifice of love. Okay. Let's see this one from the Kipper. Aries. Oh, wow. Sudden wealth. Number 11. At the bottom of the deck, we have change. Okay. Love this for you, Aries. I feel like I want to pull a love oracle and then I'm going to pull. Um, look at that. And I pick it up at the bottom of the deck is finances. And then I'm going to pull a moonology. All right, we have attraction or chemistry. The chemistry you feel is mutual. And I have new love at the bottom of the deck. So let's pull from the moonology. Your dream seeing a practical plan. Hmm. What is this about? Spirit, give me one more card here with the moonology. Communication is key. We have you are good enough. So let's see what's going on here for the Aries. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. Okay. Six of Pentacles is the main situation here. Giving and receiving. This could sometimes be a gift from the divine. All right. Lending a help, helping hand as well. Being balanced. Reciprocity here. But I'm feeling like someone here is about to be blessed in a major way. And you're going to be able to, to give. You're going to be able to give back to others. But there may be something that you have to sacrifice in order for this elevation to take place. The challenge is the seven of wands. Standing your ground, protecting your energy and your assets, holding your position, holding steady, protecting your peace, keeping conflict, riffraff I'm hearing out. And overall, you're going to win in the situation, but there's something that you need to block out. What is the advice from spirit? Knight of Cups. Following your dreams. Where are your emotions leading you to? It's going to be more fulfilling for you. This is also romance. Someone coming in, offering you love and emotions. What's the outcome? Holy Spirit, we got some angels. Please allow me to. And we have the King of Swords. A big truth here is revealed, or you can see. You've looked at a situation of all sides, all angles, and you're making. Oh, I'm hearing communication, but you're making a very sound decision here that is for your good. And this decision may be a head over heart decision. And you're not budging because this is, has to do with your success and your abundance. Yeah, success, success, all success at the bottom of the deck. Chariot, the world, and the eight of wands. Opportunities coming in towards you, nine of cups. Hmm. What is this?
is this about, Aries? Hmm. I have the sun at the bottom of the deck. What is the six of pentacles here with Aries, sun, moon, Venus? So we have the magician here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. No, just Gemini energy, to be honest. Gemini and Aries energy. What's the magician here in the Six of Pentacles? King of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Ooh, Aries. She's manifested this. I'm hearing that someone here has manifested something. But you're needing to give up. All right, all right, let's keep going. Hold on. Seven of Wands. Let's take a look at the Seven of Wands. Yeah, Five of Wands. So, yeah, it's definitely protecting your peace here from arguments, drama, people who cause a lot of chaos in your life, people may who be in and out of your life. What is the Nine of Cups? The Knight of Cups. Two cards came out. Four of Swords and the Knight of Cups again. And what is the outcome with the King of Swords? The Nine of Pentacles. And the Ace of Cups. That's why we have the new love here. Underneath the deck, we have Second Chance and Addiction. Clarify this King of Swords one more time. Thank you. And the Six of Swords. All right, Aries. So bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. A beautiful, harmonious ending here. Chariot moving towards that, being very successful. Aries, right now is a time. The, you need to make sure that you are in balance for you. Okay? I feel that you have been manifesting this major abundance. You've been manifesting your dream life. I'm talking to someone who has been manifesting their dream life and it's coming in and it's, you're about to slow, you're about to, it may have been slowly coming in, but you're about to see major shifts and changes of manifestations come in more money. Okay. You're seeing a lot of people find you attractive. You're seeing um, a significant partnership come in as well. All right, a very significant partnership come in as well. But this is the thing, Aries. You, the only thing that, how do I say this? Um, you have to, right now, you're at a point in your life where you have to make sure that everything that you're engaging in is in alignment with you. Right now, you are not in a position to sacrifice, right? Your peace, your happiness, your money, your finances, all of that. Okay, you, anything that you come into you contact right now, you have to be in alignment with because I feel that there is something here that is about to change in your circumstances, specifically your finances. You're about to be elevated in a major way with this sudden wealth card here. This is the divine finally giving you the gift of, that you've been praying, you've been wanting, you've been manifesting here. Not, magician, king of pentacles and the two of cups. I'm also feeling that there is a significant connection that's coming towards you. Some of you, it could be a business partnership, okay? Some of you could be a business partnership of someone here that's coming towards you. It's like the finding the missing link. If it's not like someone who's like actually in business with you, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity. It's a promotion, it's a sponsorship, it's an investment, it's something here that is going to put you in a place of high ranking, okay? Um, but there is a need for someone here to cut out, to protect their energy from people, a specific person, energies around you that bring you a lot of drama, confusion, upheaval, just situations that really take your focus off of your goals. Right now is a time to protect that at all costs. I'm also seeing that your ancestors will be helping you do so because they know that right now is not a time for slip-ups. 
not when you are about to be elevated to the next level, okay, in your life. This is not a time for slip-ups. And I'm saying this because there's someone in your energy who is going to return. It could be a lover. It could be a friend. It could be a family member who does not need to return to your energy. And spirit is very adamant about it, okay? This is not just a, a matter of oh, this person comes back in my life and now my finances are fluctuating and now, you know, I'm broke. And then, This is not that. This is the difference between you elevating to the next level in your life. So you taking someone back. And you, it's not for everybody, so don't be like, oh my God, but we're meant for each other, whatever. You know who I'm speaking about. This is the difference between you letting someone in your energy, back into your energy, and everything just going to shit. Everything that you've worked for, everything, and it's and you think, well, okay, well then I'll get rid of them again. And, but this is the test here is to say no as soon as they present you with any kind of offer, any kind of if they try to engage in any kind of drama, even if you have an encounter with them in a conversation, you need to remain balanced and at peace. You need to, your emotional energy does not need to shift when this person comes around. You need to tell them politely, you got to go, okay? You've, you, you, it may be difficult because I'm seeing that some of you may have a strong attraction or chemistry to this person, but it's like spirit saying, what are you willing to sacrifice? Is this a sacrifice that you're willing to make? It's not. It's not. It's not. Because the thing is, when you go to this next level, you think that, okay, this is the person I love, I want to be with, there's going to be someone else there for you, all right, that is going to match your energy, that is going to be the connection that you need to be. But I'm holding this up because I'm saying this specifically, there's someone here that is outside of your energy right now, about to want to come back in, and you have to stand your ground, okay? You have to stand your ground with this person. The advice from spirit, whoever this is, they're coming in as a knight. Look at that. You already have a king showing up in your energy, Aries. But this person is coming back in as a knight. Spirit is saying some of you, some of you may not even need to have a conversation. Some of you may just need to be a slam in the door. A the door slammed in somebody's face. All right? Because this person's just coming back in. They're trying to woo you. They're trying to romance you and, you know, trying to make you an offer that they probably can't even fulfill here with the Knight of Cups. But they just want to come in and feed off of your energy. And Spirit is saying, I'm always flicking y'all off, sorry. Spirit is saying, no, no, absolutely not. You're healing from this. You, you, you've made a significant, significant progress in your healing from this situation. Now is not the time to undo what you've done. Okay, because you're moving towards this nine of pentacles. We have the king of pentacles here, ace of cups, okay, king of swords. That's why this king of swords energy is here. Because spirit is saying here that you have to, as much chemistry and attraction that you have for this person, you have to make a well thought out decision here about your future. This is about you, your family, your lineage, where you're going next. There's someone here that really, even though you love them, you may have a strong chemistry connection between them. You have to be strong and you have to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not dominant, but you have to be serious, very serious when it comes to your next move in your life, your next success, okay? With the communication is key, could be a Gemini or somebody with strong Gemini in their chart, but it's talking about that communication. Don't let don't leave anything open-ended. Don't leave things open for interpretation. When this person comes around, it's hey, we can't do this anymore. Period. I can't have you in my life. No, we can't be friends. No, we can't, you know, you can't even be saying hi and bye at the grocery store. You guys stay out of my energy. Why? Because my success, where I'm headed, I'm almost there to get receiving that last pinnacle, right? I have someone new coming in and I'd rather wait for the new than dabble, go back into the past. My life is more peaceful now with the six of swords energy. I just, I can't, I can't engage anymore. I can't engage anymore, okay? Because literally here underneath the deck, we have a sec new love. But then we have second chance. So someone wanting to come back in for a second chance. Again, I have to read this again. It says, sometimes surrender is painful. 
God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. It's so funny because underneath second chance is addiction. And then warning. So be careful, Aries. There's somebody that's coming back in that could, I'm going to just be very blunt for you. They could really wreck it all. They could wreck it all and it's not worth it. They could wreck everything that you've worked for, everything that you're going towards that you haven't even received yet. It's not worth it. There will be someone new coming in towards you that's going to match your energy, but it's not worth it. Those of you, if this is not resonating, there are people out there who know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? You know exactly that this is for you. You know time and time again, you weren't supposed to let someone back in, but this is like the final straw, okay? What are you going to do, okay? Because spirit is trying to move you to a change, a very move you forward. We even have the chariot under here as well. Move you forward to your success, to your happily ever after. Don't do it, Aries. All right, that's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoy this. Take care.